So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. I don't want to keep any, anyone out here longer than we have to. We will have remarks from Councilwoman Tina Herbert, the City of Columbia District 1. And after that, we'll have remarks from Councilman Edward McDowell, City of Columbia Mayor Pro Temp. And then we'll have remarks from Karina and Bernard Jones, owner of Jess Jones and Commissioner Kitchen. And then we'll do the ribbon cut and photo ops, and we'll have some closing remarks. So now I'd like to introduce Councilwoman Tina Herbert. I'm sorry, y'all. Despite how slowly I walked up here, I am excited to be here today. Those, I see some personal friends. I am Tina Herbert and I represent District 1. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and give the Joneses the award for beautification because how many of y'all used to come to Wing Basket? Because now I came to Wing Basket. I used to live right up the street. And we love Wing Basket, but they've moved up the street. And the building was all, well, the building didn't look good. I think I can be honest. Um, it was an eyesore and it was unused. And so I am personally grateful to Ms. Jones for coming and investing in our community. And I'm so excited about the project itself, a commercial kitchen, because we have so many people who can cook, but they don't have commercial kitchens. Um, and I don't know about you all, but when people give me stuff that they cooked in their homes, you know, sometimes I'm a little iffy. So this is gonna allow not only Ms. Jones to expand, but it's gonna allow opportunities for other businesses too. Um, and the last thing I will say, um, the North, was well, probably not the last. The North Main Corridor is probably one of the most important corridors in my district. Um, I care for it very deeply. Um, and I also care for uh, the minority community that surrounds here. It's my community. And so this is also an example of wealth creation and the fact that we own something on North Main Street as it begins to develop. And y'all need to get, y'all really need to clap because. Yeah. I mean, we live out here and we lease out here, but we do not own here. And so this is very remarkable what you're doing. And I want y'all to understand the importance of that. Um, I think that is all that I have to say. The food is good. Y'all enjoy, enjoy yourselves. Make sure to come back and support. And that's one thing. So when we start businesses, they don't just need support at the press conference. They need support. Um, on a routine basis so that they continue to make money, stay open, and be sustainable. Thank y'all so much. Good afternoon. Thank y'all. We are, I, look, I'm a person of a lot of words and then you get on the spotlight and you don't have many words, but it's just looking around and seeing people of different parts of our life and family members and friends and, okay, I'm a crybaby. Um, so, <laughs> just such a blessing to be in a position to be able to have a, a business. I have my husband, Bernard, with me. <laughs> my son, Bryson. Carter Carson, I had my best friend Makia flew down this morning, and my mother, my cousin Jerry, and so we are just so, we are just so grateful to be in this position, to be able to own a business in this area, to be able to give back to our communities, and to be able to offer to other food truck owners. We're new to this industry, right? We've only been doing this for a year. And so to be able to be in a position to have our own space to prepare our food and then offer that opportunity to other um, food truck owners, bakers, caterers, and the likes. Um, a commissary kitchen is a shared use community space for cooks to come and prepare their food and then take it out on to serve it to um, their vendor or whoever they're serving, right? And so this will not function as a restaurant, um, but we will offer takeout service at times. We will offer an opportunity for other vendors to park on the lot and sit from their food trucks and so we are just excited about the different things that we can offer in this area to these families to this community and to different small business owners in Columbia and so thank you all for coming um, and we are just excited um, come enjoy the potatoes I only baked a little bit because I wanted to have fun with y'all we got a little music we got kids 103.1 so I didn't bake a whole lot of potatoes but we have Chuck E. Cheese Philly cheese steaks and hoagies they're back there wings Philly cheese steaks 
uh, all kinds of food. We have Nori's Icy Cart with the um, Italian ice. Um, we have a Pre's Creations with sweet treats. I got Sweet Tooth by C. She has the cake slices. I have Flair Rare, Rare Flames. She has candles. And I have Auntie's waffles and she sells her own waffle mix okay so you all come out and support the different vendors and um, we are very excited um, about each business owner so we have some giveaways I have a certificate for each vendor that is here today um, there's one certificate for a raffle, right? So as you all kind of walk around, we're gonna give everybody a raffle ticket, put it into a pot, and then there we'll be giving away um, raffles throughout the afternoon, okay? So you all enjoy. Thank you all so much for coming, um, and we appreciate it. Right, what was I say? My daughter would love to say something. Okay. Say something, Carson. Thank you everyone for coming. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> Man of little words. All right. Okay, we have one more speaker coming up. Council Councilman Mayor Pro Tem Ed McDowell is here. Y'all know this is a exciting time time for this district. We have so many developments happening on this quarter, and we're very excited about every small-owned family operate business that comes on this quarter. Everybody ready to eat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say a word of thanks to my, uh, my fellow colleague, Tina Herbert. Where is she? Tina, hey, you staying out of the sun. Good to see you, Councilwoman. Let me say a word of thanks to this fabulous establishment. We come today <clears throat> not only together as a community, but we gather as a family. We gather to pay homage to these who have put this together. Thank you all so very, very much. Hey, young lady, <laughs> smile. <laughs> We are delighted that North Columbia continues to shine. And of course, when North Columbia shines, the city of Columbia shines. And isn't that wonderful to know that in the heartbeat of this city of ours, 400 plus new African-American businesses have started. Somebody ought to clap their hands and say, that's not a whole lot, but at least the ball is rolling and it's not stopped. So thank you for being here. Sabrina Odom, my friend and my colleague, thank you so much for being who you are and what you do for this community. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. <laughs> 